All right, y'all. See, I know I got to talk some boxing. All right, and it's gonna be about the Charlo brothers, man. The Charlo twins, Jamel and Jamal. Uh, I'm pretty sure if y'all heavy into the boxing scene, man, it's on every fucking major YouTube, social media, boxing uh, 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 website, boxing media. Uh, basically, the lives uh, where you know Jamal Charlo he went live. Uh, Jamel hopped into his shit, talking mad shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all already know Jamel was the more like hot-headed one when it comes between the two, but he was going crazy at Jamal, talking about, yo, like my wife would beat your wife ass, calling him a pussy, things like that, crazy talk, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you have a brother, uh, that, 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 it won't mean as much, because you know, you know what I'm saying, brothers always fight, you know what I'm saying, regardless of how the media wants to portray it, or regardless of how people want to make it seem like, when it comes down to family, family gonna fight, family gonna go at each other, people just do it differently, right? They a little bit more aggressive with, with it than maybe other families, but at the same time, families fight, especially brothers, you know, that, that's always gonna be there, especially if you gotta be around them a whole lot, or like, your whole legacy is, like, compared or dependent, or, or always, you know what I'm saying, put side by side with the other man, that's, 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 a, that's a lot to deal with mentally, you know what I'm saying, even if they are both successful, you know what I'm saying, especially when it comes to Jamel, you know what I'm saying, like, that shit could get old, I, I get it, but, I'm, I'm just asking you, so, so, so basically y'all saw the I, IG live where Jamal, you know what I'm saying, he was on it, Jamal hopped in it, he was talking shit, uh, Jamal was keeping a smile on his face the whole time, kind of basically acting nonchalant, making it seem like it didn't really matter, uh, basically kind of just, in my opinion, portraying himself, as what he's already looked at as as like the cool-headed one uh the one who's not as emotional things like that kind of playing into his persona when you look at the live that jamel ended up doing uh kind of playing into his persona or at the same time just showing who he is uh going crazy you know what i'm saying talking mad shit now me if you want to know i like jamel better me personally i connect a little bit more with jamel because i feel like that'd be me you know what i'm saying that, that that's how i'd be that's how i would act in a situation like that so one, I want to know what's your opinion on it. Do you think this is serious? You know what I'm saying? you think this is something anybody should give a fuck about? Do you think maybe this is for publicity? They both got fights coming up. You know what I'm saying? So um, how do y'all feel about that? And then also I want to ask, do you think if it does end up being some real shit, some legitimate shit, do you think Jamel has a point with being upset with his brother because it all comes down to the fact that he felt uh, Jamal shitted on the Lions Only brand? And a lot of people don't know the Lions Only brand is actually Jamel. Jamel's the one who come up, came up with the Lions Only. He's the one who promotes it. He's the one who basically put a lot of business behind it. He's the one who kind of got it out there running so people actually give a fuck about it. So um, there's that. But he felt like Jamal shitted on it by saying, uh, basically, like, that's his little bro shit. Like, he don't have nothing to do with that. And from what I've heard, uh, Jamal, excuse me, is supposed to be starting his own Lions Only, but supposed to be Lions Only Elite. And so that's kind of what, you know, ticked Jamel off to an extent. And what it, what I see from the outside looking at it, it just kind of seems like both of them are kind of starting to move in their own way when it comes to building their brand. Because, you know, nowadays with social media, YouTube really becoming popular. Um, a lot of these sports figureheads who maybe weren't as popular when they were just playing the sport, they can create a YouTube, they can create a brand, and they can use their Instagram, things like that, in order for them to build their own fan base. So maybe they're not as... Then maybe they're not looked at as a LeBron James because they're not hooping, but they can be a superstar within their own sport by doing the right things. And that was something Jamel was way ahead of the game because of the Lions only thing. Jamal's starting to just now kind of utilize that platform with him now, you know, putting out Lions only elite. So, so what, what do y'all feel? You think Jamel is justified? Do you think that's something Jamal's, you know, you know, sliding Jamel's brand by saying, I'm gonna basically do take your name and then put a leak next to it and then basically say my shit is better or do you feel like this is like inevitable you know what i'm saying y'all both been on y'all old shit to an extent so y'all gonna have your own brands but it just all depends on how it came about right it all depends on you know what i'm saying what what went on behind the scenes and jamel makes it seem like a lot of shady shit or disrespectful shit in his opinion happened but at the end of the day that's kind of the synopsis of the breakdown of what's going on with they beef uh, I just want y'all opinion on it. Who is more justified? Who y'all rocking with? And do y'all feel like this is all bullshit or just something that's real serious? Or, as always, y'all know who it is, Mr. Positivity, Mr. Fluence. Uh, fuck all the bullshit. Niggas gonna try to get in your head to make you think a certain type of way. Don't ever let that shit happen. You already know what it is. Stay up, y'all. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like, comment. We appreciate y'all as always. You know what I'm saying?